Thank you so much for yet another opportunity that the Lord has given us to create more videos and to gather my own audience okay in this particular video so today i'm going to talk about uh, the lights the lights the lights so with me i just wrote out some sketch on uh, how i'm going to guide you with the lights that i use in the studio i've been a photographer since 2020 and around june i started my journey of photography just as a part-time business during my time in the, at the University of Nairobi. So I did this and now it is 2024 and we're about to end the year. So I'll be giving you a story very soon. My story, my, the whole journey on my photography. And okay, without further ado, let's get into the video. So in a studio, you probably, you may be starting with the one light, two lights, some people go to three and then you start pimping your studios. You want to bring out some highlights. You're seeing the red car, the red lights, the blue lights. Some do the pink, whatever. And today I'm going to talk about the Godox MS300. Set one to be the backlight, the other one to be a fill light, and the other one to be the main light. So let's talk about the Godox. So, in this video, I'm going to show you the buttons, how you use them, the, the important buttons, and I'm going to show you also the trigger. So others is just simple. Just regulate your ISO, your shutter speed, and your aperture, and you're good to go. Of course, lighting is very, very important in every single photo you're taking. Because in photography, you have to work with the shadows. The shadows, and the highlights is what brings the photo to pop up really well. Okay, so starting off, this is simply a trigger for the MS300, the Godox. So here you can put the several lights. You can have light A, B, C, D, up to E. And then this one right here is just when you press it, it will release a flash like that. So these are the buttons for on and off. And so you can regulate the light. If the light, this light is set to be A, just press on A and then you regulate it using this adjustment knob right here. So let me walk you through this part. So with the trigger, when you have a camera, you just mount this one on top of your camera. Let me get one I show you right away. So this one is a Fujifilm. So this is the trigger. Just do it like this. And then you do that and it is mounted on the camera. So this is the trigger for the Godox flash. So let's talk about these ones. This one right here is the AC power socket. This one is just connected from the power. As you can see, that is my socket right there that from the socket is up to the adjustment right here and I adjust you see this is the power socket and then uh, the since there is a since code jack the since code jack is this one here we don't use that normally so I'll take you to the places that you'll be adjusting every now and again so we have this one for the set this one here this is called the select dial or the set button and then we have the LCD display this one here it displays the channel 
like this one is channel 11 and then uh, the light is labeled B on our, our, our trigger, the trigger that I'm using for the Fujifilm. And then there is this one here, the group and the channel button. This one is where you group your lights. You, you set the channel for the light. And then we have this button right here, the S1 stroke S2. This is the, the, the CF model button, okay? And then there's the, the mounting bracket. This one is right down below. And then this one here is just a handle, okay? And then uh, you have the test indicator. Test indicator is an The test indicator is this one here. When you press this, you test your light like that. It shows the flash. Then this is the on and the off. Of course, uh, this was the first thing I was supposed to tell you. This one is called the power switch, the test button, the test indicator, the test button as well. And then this one, well, we don't use it no, so much, so that is just a buzz button. And uh, that's all about the Gardax. And this one, if you have them, two of them, you can do, you can use one as your main light and the other one as your fill light. If you have them three, of course, you can use one as a backlight. In the trigger, you have the A, the B, C. These are the number of lights that you're having. And then this one is just a test. You test if your lights are working. And then this one here is the on. Just put them like that. And then your the trigger is on. Of course, when you want to test for the light, you just press on here. On your, on your Godox, on the light itself, when you press on this, it does the same thing. So, it is really easy to use. So, regulating, let's say you want to regulate the light A. The light A is this one. You just press on A, and then you see it is highlighted right here. When you press on A, let me press it. Let's press A. And you can see that A is highlighted on my camera here. You see, right there. And then you just use this one, the adjustment knob below it, to regulate it. This one is for the fill light. And I use this one for the backlight. I place it just behind the subject. And then I have this, which is the natural light. So the three lights are enough for me. Because when the subject is, let's say, at that seat right there, yeah, I'm having my camera. And then we have the fill from this side. And then we have this one from the other side, from the back of the subject. And then we have this, the front of the subject. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you on another one. And I'll leave my link in the description to show you much more about the Godox the prices and how to regulate some other things that I haven't mentioned in the video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.